Yad Vigali, and I'm a lecturer in social work. So my research interests began when I was a practicing social worker and I became interested in how my identity was affecting the way that I practiced. I applied to do a PhD and that PhD focused on how social workers constructed their professional identity and how culture affected the way that they did this. Um, because I was using the agency where I worked, I had to choose another agency and so I chose an agency in Belgium to gain a distant objective perspective of that which was going on here. And the findings were really interesting because they did show that culture does affect the way that social workers practice. But in England, it affected us in a negative way. It distorted our identity and it distorted the practice that was being carried out. In Belgium, there were different findings. Over there, because the government, the media and society revere social workers, they felt like experts and they practiced in a different way. They also went on to build relationships with their children and families in a more innovative, more creative way as well. So identity and culture have a significant effect on child protection practice. The majority of conventional research focuses on child protection practice without considering what's going on within the agency. So this produced different findings, so to speak. And following this project, I started talking to the Chief Social Worker of England and with um, following on from her advice, I've met with a, another social work agency and together we're trying to implement a pilot of this model, a modification of the Belgian model. And it'll be really exciting if this takes off. It's in the early stages at the moment and you know we've got a long way to go. But if it were to be implemented, then I think that it would be beneficial for social workers for the service users that we aim to work with. And also, it'll be interesting to see if those research findings from that thesis do have a beneficial impact on society today. Well, not only do I go and talk to people, like the chief social worker, but I also go visit social workers in agencies and I carry out lunchtime seminars. And that's a way of feeding back into practice. But it's also really interesting because they're my best critics and they can keep me up to date with what's going on out there. In addition, I'll also not only publish um, my work in peer-reviewed journals and I'm currently turning my thesis into a book, but I also write for online journals um, such as The Conversation and Social Work Online Journals. My future research plans are going to focus on extending the knowledge that I gained in my PhD. The method that I used was ethnography and part of that method involved visual methods. So I took photos of the setting, the organisation in Belgium and in England and the findings were really interesting because in Flanders they are really creative with the space and environment. They use it to be innovative and they build relationships with the children and families. In England, we're going in the opposite direction. We're looking at agile working. A number of agencies have resorted to open plan styles of operating. And this has had a negative effect on social workers who are feeling devalued. And this is then subsequently affecting the practice that they're carrying out, not having that private space to think, to focus on the families that they're working with. I've heard of some social workers refer to the environment that they're working in as being in a chicken coop. They don't have um, their own space, they don't have drawers, and it's been a uh, demotivating um, experience for them. So this project that I'm putting together is with the landscape and architecture, and it's going to focus on space and environment. And we're going to use one social work agency to explore that in more detail. One that's having difficulties in terms of managing what I've just been talking about. And we're going to explore how we could perhaps turn it around using the resources they already have to change that um, space, to make it into a more positive experience, not just for social workers, but for the relationships they build within their team, with the organisation and with the service users, the children and families that they work with. And this has led me to look into organisation studies in more detail and the psychosocial. So 
So in my PhD I looked at social constructionism, which is about how discourses focus, how discourses affect our identity and the culture within which we are embedded in. But the psychosocial is looking at how social environment affects what we do and how we behave. An effect in particular isn't an emotion in that it's not a feeling that comes from within. Effect emerges from interacting with other people and it can be either positive, it can enhance relationships, or it can be negative and it can have a detrimental impact. It can deplete the energy in the room. And I think that if we're going to go beyond just exploring child protection practice, we need to have a look at what's going on in those interactions in the office so that we can explore how we can overcome negative effect and then improve social work practice. So my research informs my teaching in a different way, I think, because the students that I teach here are MA students and I like to talk to them about the experiences I had as a social worker and I like to draw on the mistakes that I made. I think this is important in that it helps them learn that we don't expect them to be perfect and also I hope that it will encourage them to have those sensitive conversations in practice that will enable them to overcome challenges that they face. And my research comes into play because it then enables them to see that they may strive to be the best social worker they possibly can be and in an ideal world that's great but they've got to contend with the organisation where they're situated, the relationships that they're building with their team, how they function as a social worker, as a professional and how the organisation affects that identity and can sometimes implement barriers that they need to overcome. So hopefully my research can provide them with the tools and skills that will, uh, will enable them to overcome that so that they can go out and build better relationships with service users.